Hey guys, how's it going? Matt here with another episode along my North American van life industry tour. Everybody chooses van life for a different reason. Everybody chooses to, to travel for different reasons. And so your equipment and your load and your tools for your journey change drastically depending on who you are and why you're doing it. I want to be able to share stories on the road. And so when I started to uh, think about building my van out, uh, one of the most important things was to think about how am I gonna communicate with the world? How am I gonna share my stories? And oftentimes your bandwidth or your ability to upload can be hindered based on some of the more beautiful places that you'll go in the world. Some of those places are off the beaten path and off the beaten path, you might not have the ability to upload your videos or share your pictures or content or stories. As I traveled around on my van life industry tour, I included a company that helps people to extend their bubble from which they can upload their videos and share their content. And so I'm outside of a company called Wilson Amplifiers that specialize in devices that help you extend your reach. They help you to communicate with the world and they sell and re represent a, a number of products, uh, one of which we're gonna integrate into the van today. So today's episode is about van life communication. We're gonna talk to Wilson Amplifiers and their crew and we're gonna learn about what's necessary, what tools they have to offer and what speciality each tool is designed for. And they're gonna to explain to me also why they've helped me to uh, choose the product that they think is gonna suit the Jio World Tour the best and it's gonna fit into the Yeti. And then we're, we're gonna install it and it should be pretty cool. I've, uh, I've arranged this for quite some time. This is the Houston stop. Let's check out Wilson Amplifiers. Hello. Hello. Wilson Amplifiers? Uh-huh. Okie dokie. Matt? Hey. What's hey. Going on, man? How's it going? Holy moly, you're an electric guy. I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I've been no, out no, it's it. it's been fine. all morning. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> hey, let me introduce you to sure. a couple of guys here too. Is it okay if I record? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Come on. We got here's the uh, come on. The VP of marketing. This is a creative director, Darren hey, Point. Good, good. I love your mustache. Oh, thank That's you. Fantastic. <laughs> it's a little kind of wonky today, but <laughs> it's a good okay. thing. Nice to meet you. Are we on? Are we on right now? We are on. We are well, not live, but we are on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always on. We're, we're like starting the second chapter of this business, okay. right? Where we're going to be more than improving cellular signal. Okay. Right? So now we want to help people with Wi-Fi. I mean, the, the question of how you get data on the road is, is very relevant. Yeah. So for example, we have one antenna that you could point to a cell tower from 20 miles or even more, 30 miles wow. away. If you have, we've tested it. A line of sight. A line, line of sight. So let me show you this idea, but please pause. <laughs> okay, don't. <laughs> All right. So, what do you what do you propose for uh, the Jio World Tour? Uh, we, we're going to install a, a, a WeBoost Drive Reach, which is our over the road booster. Uh -huh. um, this will be guaranteed that you're going to get a boosted cellular signal anywhere that you are at, um, and get rid of those low bar where you actually have one or none, yeah. and elevate it up to where you actually have a signal all the time. Okay. Basically, what this is is this is allowing. Um, people that absolutely have no signal to find signal somewhere. Okay. Um, a lot of our uh, people that are working in oil fields, they, they'll have this. When I turn that on, it boosts the. Signal. It will boost my personal cell phone, phone. signal or That's whatever right. it uses. Or whatever. Or yeah. This takes the cellular signal and amplifies it. Okay. Uh, and this is the antenna that will provide signal inside the van. So it boosts the signal throughout the car. Very cool. You have to think about everything that that van is made out of, block signal. Yeah, all yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a Faraday cage. And, it's yeah, like, it's exactly. like a Faraday cage. So this is grabbing it from outside, pushing Bringing it, it through in. Those, those barriers, uh, signal barriers, and then broadcasting it. Making Very it cool. A hot spot Very cool. Yep. Imagine um, a warehouse that is built of metal, mm -hmm. the blocks, 100% of the signal. Yeah. So all of these warehouse have a indoor signal issues. Yeah. So we have like a small system that we have. Bigger like ones. Commercial. Commercial. Yeah. I'll tell you, I'm super excited. 
I mean, I'm, I'm thinking back. Now, Asia had great coverage, so Cambodia and a lot of places, you'd be surprised at how good the coverage is. But there was always frustration when you saw something beautiful or you went past something that you really wanted to tell a story about at that moment. And especially live streaming. I've had to restrict live streaming based on the connectivity. And if I don't have the, the bandwidth, I just can't. And uh, oftentimes it was just like two bars, no go. Three bars can, you know? So you're just really close to being able to do that. And I think this would just extend my reach so that I could communicate my story so much better. Hola, Vicky. Hola, Vicky. <laughs> the Long Ranger. <laughs> I love that name. So this has a parabolic grid, like this big. And Holy you have, moly. You have this feet more, and this goes for miles. Let me see if we have some. Yeah, I'd love to see one that's, that's out. How long have you been uh, repping WeBoost? So we've been almost 10 years. Wow. Look at the size. So we sent this to Guatemala once, where oh. this group of volunteers were doing a medical mission. Okay. And they had no signal. Yeah. And they were like for like 40 miles from the closest town. Right. And they were able to catch signal with this. So you just put the, the grid together. And then this would be in the middle? It would be this in the middle. This would be like that? Yeah, exactly. I mean, Holy moly. Yeah, I can't exactly put that on the top of the van, but... No. <laughs> No, but look, the, li the little the little boy in me we have really <laughs> likes that. It would be obnoxious for me to carry that around. <laughs> yeah, wait, but, up too much. but I really want to. <laughs> the application we have for home we go in front. and for vehicle, right? Uh huh. But also the game. I mean, there is a limit by law in which uh, limits the amount of game. The FCC do not want too much power on these products because it will potentially harm the network. Okay. You could, you could have so much signal in the inside that will block and cancel the outside signal. So you could have a blind spot for having too much signal. <laughs> oh, wow. So these things... You're like a roaming EMP. <laughs> all cell phone signal boosters are sold in kits in the United States. Yeah. Because they have to be FCC certified. Okay. So you won't... You can't part out a... No. Well, you're not. You're you really not supposed you to. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Sometimes the networks could kick you out of the network. Yeah you are interfering with their operation makes yeah. sense wow yeah. that's crazy mm -hmm. do you want me to bring the van around then or yes, let me is that the where we're at right now yeah or? let me check with Chris. it's too bad you couldn't just you know replace the code into no, this kidding. i mean i don't know could you use the threads of that probably not probably not if you can grab this you can go up from here or it could go alongside the ladder the problem with it is it's actually the actual cable from the ladder inside, inside the vehicle. The yeah. vehicle. Uh, this is going to be great. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be really cool. Yeah, it's going to be neat when it's all finished. This is all temporary, you know, just yeah. for me to travel around and stay somewhat comfortable. But I'll probably pull in some stuff, you know, through here. From the from the roof, I'm thinking that maybe we can cut it to 17 inch and mount it on the top rack up there. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Mm -mm. To yeah, be honest, I don't. no, I don't either. You got it figured out? We may uh, be actually, able to leverage this it right inside there, so it doesn't even have to be cut. Right on the logo? It's uh, not going to flex the logo, right? Uh, oh, you think the holes are going to line up? Well, that's the cool thing about the way that logo's cut. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! If that worked that way, that would be so wild. I think if you How random is that? How random is that? Could we put a piece of rubber yep. on the oh, front yeah, there so sure. not mess up that powder yeah. coating? <laughs> it looks like there's a hole there! Holy moly! Backwards Adventure Mods. That one goes. And that one. Oh! And look at that! Oh look my gosh! Oh! I got. <laughs> that's, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do! I'm That's gonna go get a rubber mill. Try you to that! Try you to that! Rubber, um. Is this the rubber? Yeah. Oh, is that like old tires?
So how many bikes have you built? I built old school bobbers. Okay. And I've built probably 20. Wow. Somewhere in that vicinity. You have your own shop or? No, I do it in my garage. Okay, cool. Engaged the winch and winched it in. And it, it's like a seven foot shark. Then they, they take the shark off, they club it, they throw it on top of the rack up there and they drive away. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what did I just see? What just happened? Okay, let me reiterate because I, I opened the camera while he was in the middle of telling that story. He says he saw some, some guys on the beach and they pulled up a rig very similar to this, flipped on the front lights, let the winch out. I was wondering where you were going with this. <laughs> I was wondering, and they basically took that winch out and in the, on some kayaks. About how far off shore? It's probably about a hundred yards. <laughs> really, the realistic part, a hundred yards. And they dropped a big old chunk of steak or some sort of meat. Yeah. And then they just waited. I mean, listen, that thing's gonna that's gonna haul in a whale. I you gotta know? tell you, it's pretty ingenious. <laughs> yeah. Then they just like. Uh, <laughs> Let's like, hope they go to the taxidermy. <laughs> I mean, shark meat don't taste very good. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna use my winch for that, but. I wonder what I will be using that winch for. That'll come in handy someday, and it'll be like, thank God we have that winch. This is Abdul. Hey, Abdul. Hey. How's it going, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. But I want to make sure that we're getting this far enough away that it's not going to oscillate with the antenna. Will it oscillate with the antenna? What kind of tint? Do you have any tint on the vehicle, like ceramic tint or anything? I will. That'll help with the separation. Where's the firewall entrance? So that's the crossbow antenna that oh, okay. when you're stationary you put this thing up on a pole. There's two cables, two SMA cables and those plug straight back into the back of a, of a router. Is that magnetic? That uh... Look, once you're stationary and you get this thing up, I mean this thing is a beast. <laughs> so we've, we've literally had this on a ranch, a friend's ranch out in Texas where there was like no signal at all, like literally no, no call. Put this up connected to a router and you get sort of 17 megs up 13 megs down kind of thing okay and so that's enough to yeah that's that's it's streaming it's yeah that's Definitely live streaming video calls yeah. no problem this is andrew by the way he's he's the guy that I, I i first talked to when i when i reached out and uh uh yeah you just came just came to the office showing me some stuff if, if you need a guinea pig i i will squeak for you <laughs> is that that amazing shirt everybody's all talking the about most amazing antenna shirt you'll ever see <laughs> Yeah. I think I think it's very easy to say you that if you ever find a shirt that's selling an antenna that is cooler, then I'll Yeah, I'm ready. Let's see this thing. If you guys know me, I'm a bit of a connoisseur when it comes to antenna styled clothing. So this is really gonna have to shock me because I mean I've seen the gamut of antenna related apparel. <laughs> Well, that's, 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 what, like, that's that is a cool logo, logo that's man. Cap, so that's, that's and that's flex fit. fit. That's flex fit, yeah. It's a fit. Whoa, right. yeah, it fits good. All right, so this is our flagship. I gotta go to the side a little bit. Antenna t shirt uh, by our one and only Mr. Darren Coyne. Okay, so. Why do I see your design in that? <laughs> I say, when I look at this, I see handlebar mustaches. You do? That's <laughs> what I see when I see that. <laughs> I am the coolest antenna guy you've ever seen. <laughs> Very good, very cool. Thank you. Do I wear this? Is that the cool thing now to keep the tag on it? No, I don't know. What I think people actually keep the tags on it. So we just wired this up and uh, sort of temporarily. In the end, I'm going to have it wired to my house batteries. So seeing as though I don't have that system quite yet, we're just going to wire it to the car battery so I can kind of get an idea of how it works. And uh, so yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. I kind of like, kind of like it. Just hanging out there out in front. It's beauty. Okay, so the moment of truth, uh, I have my phone open right now. I am, my phone is inside the cab. Actually, it's probably as close to the transmitter as possible. And I have a speed test on my phone. So I'm gonna go to speed test right here. Boom. All right, what is that? That's 238 down, not bad, T-Mobile. <laughs> Jio. That's literally like Jio. Adding fuel, adding bandwidth to phone. All right, now my upload is coming eight, nine. Oh, if I get over 10, I can do a live stream. Or, or around 10, I can get a live stream. So, 
We got 10 up and 230 down. So turn off the vehicle. Okay, it's off. And now I'm going to try it again. Go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, 100, 100 megabytes per second difference. 130 versus 230. Let's see what uh, upload is. That's pretty cool. All right, it's creeping up a little, 169. And my upload is down 8.5, 8.487. That's the difference between uh, having a live stream and not, actually. We went from 169 down to all the way up to 230 down. And then we went from up upload, which is important for me as a YouTuber, 7.76 to 10.2. So I increased uh, almost uh, two and a half uh, megabytes per second, which can make or break uh, a live stream or a, a sort of sort of an interaction online. So when I'm driving around, this is this is great. What does that equal out to? I mean, the download that's almost like a 30 percent, 30 percent increase. Yep. And then the yeah yeah, that's like 20, 25, 30 percent. What you're going to find is from tower to tower. Yeah. You're going to find that you're not going to lose connection. You're going to be able to gain from tower to tower, and you're going to stay consistent like that. Got you, buddy. Nice. Cool. <laughs> they bought some food. That's better than a So we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna get some food. I need my hat. Where's my? Where did I put my hat? It's over there. That's a cool hat, man. You like it? Look at that. I feel. I feel like this hat is making me cooler than I should be. <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed to be this cool. <laughs> well, look at this. <laughs> we're Pick out what again. you want, man. So in all transparency's sake, I contacted Bolton and Wilson Amplifiers because I knew that they repped the WeBoost and these communication systems. And we've been talking for quite some time. I'm, I'm really glad that we were able to work out something because this is gonna be a great thing to have on the tour. But again, yeah, uh, they, they provided me the system and in return, I'm gonna provide them with a lot of data while I'm on the road, how it's performing. I would have gotten this either way. And so it worked out really well. It's a win, win, win. So, so far for the van life industry tour, we have the bumper, the bull bar, the lights, the winch, the rear bumper, the rack, and the ladder. We also have coatings for the interior from a lizard skin. And now we have a signal booster from, uh, from Bolton. And I've got a pretty awesome hat. The guys are gonna come out of the office here in a sec. We're gonna take a picture and this segment of the tour is gonna wrap up. Cool. Thanks, thanks a lot. Yeah. Take it easy, yeah? Yep. I don't think so, man. Keep in touch. Bye-bye.